Hey everybody, welcome back um, for another Vesta tutorial. Today we're actually going to be building a quantum dot of a multi-layer system. So something actually, uh, specifically we'll be building a graphite quantum dot. And I have a new setup kind of, so um, if the microphone's too loud, too soft, I apologize about that in advance. Um, so what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna open up a graphite unit cell do the method for building quantum dots I have in previous videos, and then um, we're going to have to do some extra things after. So um, if you have not sub uh, subscribed to my channel yet, please do. Um, I hope to be coming out with some non-VESTA tutorial series. I think maybe in a few months we'll start doing that. Um, so we'll keep on VESTA for uh, a couple months, and then we're going to switch over to doing some uh, Python coding uh, we're going to code a DFT program, sort of, and then we might do some other stuff on Quantum Espresso, and then we might come back to Vesta, you know. So, uh, or maybe we might just do some uh, uh, learning about theory in general. So, anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So, we're going to open open up our graphite unit cell, and you can see here, graphite has this, is this sort of Van der Waal structure. Uh, so, if you go here into properties. Um, atoms, radii type, van der Waals. So, yeah, you can tell the van der Waals interaction are, are what's really holding this structure together. Um, so, yeah. So now what I'm going to do is show you guys how to cut a quantum dot out of here. And the quantum dot is uh, very unique, actually. So it's it's actually pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is center this structure on A. Then I'm going to edit edit add a unit cell. And we are going to uh, make a rotation matrix where we scale the diagonal elements of the rotation matrix by a constant. That just basically expands the unit cell. And in this case, you can see here that our, gra our, our graphite unit cell has you know, a very thin A dimension and a very tall C dimension. So the transformation matrix will not be um, constant at each element. So I'm actually going to make it a um, eight by five by three, okay? Because that C dimension is just so much bigger than the A dimension. So you can go ahead and press okay, yes. And this is something that one of my subscribers um, told me, and it's very important actually. It, you can skip a step, you don't have to save as an XYZ or save as a VASP and reload it. So you can just press the search atoms in the new unit cell. So thank you very much for that suggestion. So go ahead and press okay. And now what we're going to do is go to Structure Parameters. So you can see all, all of the new atoms have updated. Press New. And we're going to put a strontium atom in the center. So we're going to label it strontium 1. And then we're going to make it, uh, we're going to put it right in the center. So each one of these should be 0 0.5. Select Apply. And select OK. So there we go. We have expanded the graphite unit cell 8 by 5 by 3. And we have placed a strontium atom in the center. Um, by the way, this is a workflow that I have developed all by myself. I don't know anybody else who is who is cutting quantum dots in, in Vesta like this. So uh, this is this is a completely uh, new thing that's completely unique to this channel. So I don't think there's a single person out there who is doing this. Um, and, and if they do, then they must have also independently uh, figured this out because I, I have not learned from them at all. This is completely from my own brainstorm. Okay, so now what we do is we go to Edit, Bonds, and we're going to Delete, press Apply, and this deletes all of the carbon-carbon bonds. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to set up, we're going to search for all the bonds between strontium and carbon. So let's go to New, and we're going to search A2 bonded to A1. So um, strontium bonded to carbon, and we're not going to search additional atoms in the boundary. And I'm just going to set this to I don't know, 8.75 angstroms. You can do all sorts of things. Um, let's go ahead and press apply. So this part takes a little bit, but you can see here actually it's it's pretty nice. We actually it actually went fast. That's because we did this do not search option. And you can see here this is this is basically our um, our our structure here. So we're gonna go ahead and, and center it back on A and select OK. Now this doesn't work all the time, but let's press polyhedral. Okay. So it doesn't work. I'm actually going to expand it a little bit because I like to see that polyhedral and sometimes it works if you expand it. 
a little more, maybe some like constant number, select apply. Okay, select okay. Yeah, looks like it didn't work, but I guess that's okay. So let's go back to A here. And what we're gonna do is then we have to delete all the atoms that are not bonded. So we'll just go through and delete them. It can become a little cumbersome, but um, it is worth it because you get your structure in the end. Okay, and what we do is we use, we, we're on A now, so now we're gonna go to B. And you can see it puts up a whole new set of atoms. Okay, now we're gonna go to C. And it's very, you gotta be very good eye to see this. It can be very technical, you can, you know, like this one here. You know when you when when the polyhedral doesn't work, it's it's you got to go through and do this carefully. When the polyhedral works, it's super easy to see. Okay, so it looks like oh no, I'm missing one here. So I'm gonna check all these corners. Oh wow, yep, good thing I checked. Okay, we should we should be good here. You see these extra atoms here? These are gonna be problematic, um, and but I'm gonna leave them for now to show you. So this is how in this in this particular example, um, even after you form the quantum dot you're gonna to have to do some extra cutting. So we've done A, B, and C. Uh, everything looks good. The only atoms on the screen are bonded. Now what we do is we go back to A and we rotate it. And you can see here, you're gonna see a little more. So let's go ahead and delete these. Um, so we have these three here, these here. Okay, now let's select B, rotate it a little. Okay, now we have some more. So let's go back to our select tool and do this, yeah, you see how these are gonna be problem problematic? Um, but we'll leave them for now to show you. Let's go to C, and let's rotate, and we see a little more. Okay, so they should be all gone now. They should be, we should have our complete structure. So what we're gonna do is save this, file export data, and we're gonna call it, we're gonna, as an XYZ, Graphite quantum dot, save it. Uh, do not save the hidden atoms. Now control O for open. Open up the graphite quantum dot. And yeah, you can see here, our quantum dot looks really nice, except for these atoms here. So let's center on Z by pressing C. Let's get rid of these. And let's get rid of the strontium atom. Then we'll overwrite the file we just made so save it. Yes, uh, do not save hidden atoms. So let's go ahead and open that. And it is quite a very large system. Uh, so what you could do is you could like cut out this extra ring on each one. You probably cut it down significantly. So basically um, like this, it's really hard to see but maybe like, yeah, it, it, it's too hard to see like this. Um, let's, let's copy this, turn it to C, oh, other side. So basically like just keeping, so you could like cut around, take each piece cut around it. This is if you wanted to make it smaller. So like make it so that this top part is just this little one here. These aren't supposed to be selected here. That's a mistake. Let me go ahead and deselect these. Yeah, so if you wanted to make it like the next smaller version to make a smaller graphite unit cell, you could basically delete these brown atoms here and keep keep only the selected ones. And basically just like take the outer ring off each one of these wafers. But yeah, anyways, this is um, this is the graphite quantum dot. Um, let's go ahead and go back into Van der Waals mode, full Van der Waals mode. Yeah, you can see it there, that's pretty nice. Um, anyways, yeah, so this is a really unique structure. I think this quantum dots are like really cool looking, um, you know, looks super cool. Let's go ahead and rotate it, go to tools, animation, random. Yeah, so this is our 
our graphite quantum dot. Um, thanks for watching. Um, you know, it'd be really cool to do some calculations on this. You could dope some atoms, you know, have different end, like put some nitrogen in here and just see what happens. Um, be, it'd be super cool. Uh, make sure you do a proper, <clears throat> a proper literature search first, but yeah. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, suggestions, please leave them in the uh, comment section below. Uh, thank you for your time. I always appreciate it and take care.